Hello, I'm not Chuck, and today I want to give you an update on where we stand with replacing my barn that was destroyed back on January the 11th. I'll turn the camera around so you can see what progress we've made so far. And here's where we are. When it's finished, the barn will be 24 feet wide, 32 feet deep, with a 12 by 24 addition on the back. Uh, you'll be able to see that as we go through uh, the tour today. In addition to that, once that's done, I'll be adding two lean-to additions on the sides, one on the left, one on the right. The one on the right will be primarily for storage of my farm implements, and the one on the left will be uh, where I'll park my travel trailer. Looks like the concrete crew is coming in. Here's my main man who's going to be pouring the concrete today. He has one of his helpers with him. Concrete is scheduled for 7.30 this morning and I'm looking forward to it. It's taken a long time to uh, get this far in the process. I uh, started, uh, oh, I don't know, about three months ago digging the footings for the uh, concrete blocks. Um, it took a while to get somebody to lay the blocks, but now that's done. And uh, then it took an even longer amount of time to find somebody to actually pour the concrete. Uh, the first guy that came in gave me a bid, and then I think he realized his bid was too low, and rather than tell me that, he just kind of blew me off and never came back and stopped returning my calls. This is the addition that I told you about on the back of the barn. It's going to have a four inch concrete slab poured uh, up to the top of the form boards that you see. The exact purpose of that uh, addition or this addition is uh, kind of up in the air. I may eventually close it in and make a uh, storage room out of it, but I have some other ideas that also I might use. Turning back around, we're looking back out the front of the barn. As you can see, there's really not much to it. Uh, 24 feet wide, 32 feet deep, and uh, also a four inch slab. Uh, up at the front, um, this particular form board will uh, be where the entrance and exit to the barn is gonna be. It's 12 feet wide and will eventually have some double doors uh, to open and close to be able to get the equipment in and out of the barn. So I'm going to get out of the way, let these guys get to work, get ready for the first concrete truck. It'll take two trucks, we think. Um, here, they don't like to bring more than about eight yards per concrete, eight yards of concrete per truck. And uh, so they'll pour the first eight yards. The truck will go back and get another seven or so yards, and then we'll be in business. Buddy, I'm glad to see you this morning. Hey brother, how you doing? I'm doing okay. Are we on go today? We on go this morning so far. Fantastic.
It's the next morning after the concrete was poured yesterday, and I thought I'd give you a look at it. Um, it seems to be curing rather well. The finish looks good. Uh, it's uh, still not uh, completely cured, of course. I can walk on it, but I don't think I will. It's just, uh, just on the off chance I might scuff it up or do some damage. I think that's highly unlikely, but uh, anyway, I won't, uh, won't walk on it yet. We're at the back of the barn now, looking from uh, east to west. The sun is behind me, and that's the reason I'm uh, filming in this direction. Uh, you can see that there is about uh, a 20-inch difference between the lower slab, that's uh, down here, and the upper slab up there. The main part of the barn is, of course, the higher part. That's where I'm going to store uh, the tractor, the probably... Uh, the mower, uh, the rototiller, um, generator, maybe some other things uh, on the inside of that section. And uh, then back here, as I sort of hinted yesterday, I haven't completely decided what the function of this uh, piece is going to be. Uh, as you can see, the blocks are all filled. So uh, this area right here, uh, is where the blocks are filled and that's where the uh, base plates for the walls will go. The outer walls are going to be built out of two by sixes and uh, so that'll fit nicely on top of those blocks. That way it'll be a, a, a smooth transition between the siding on the outside of the barn and the blocks. Be a slight step down from the siding to the blocks, the thickness of the siding. Here, of course, is uh, another piece of form, and uh, that'll be taken off. As you can see, there's a slight uh, bevel there where the entrance doors to the barn will be. That'll make sure that any rain that falls on the outside of the door uh, will run down onto this uh, beveled edge and run off the front of the slab instead of running inside the barn. So that's uh, pretty much it. We're in good shape. Uh, forms will probably come off within another day or so. Uh, they could come off today, but uh, there's no rush about it. It's going to take me a while to uh, get ready to uh, build the exterior walls. My lumber is still drying. Uh, I cut the trees for that about a month ago and uh, picked up the lumber, oh, I don't know, three weeks ago maybe. So I want the lumber to uh, dry for um, probably through the month of June and maybe even through the month of July. I think it'll be perfectly uh, dry enough to use for barn construction at that time. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope uh, you'll continue to watch this series. I'm going to document the major steps of the barn construction as we go. I hope you'll uh, come back. I hope you'll subscribe, um, comment, tell me what you think, what you like, what you don't like, how you would do it. Um, I can't change much about what's been done, but I certainly would be interested in your opinions. So that's it. Uh, let's see, is there anything else? Uh, oh yeah, don't forget, I'm not Chuck.